up you guys so today's gonna be a tutorial on how to do this like roll world slash time warp transitions in after effects and you can really customize this stuff which is really good so you guys can all have like different looking transitions so yeah let's get started with the video oh and thank you guys for 3,000 subscribers that is incredible and since some of you guys have been requesting a Q&A if you want me to do a Q&A leave comments down in the description of this video and maybe I'll do one this weekend. So yeah, let's get started with the video now. So I have After Effects open and here are my two clips. So I'm just going to have the first clip transitioning into this second clip. So the first thing we're going to do is go to Effects and Presets and search up Motion Tile. And we're going to put that on our first clip. Then we're going to change both the output height and output width to 600. And you also want to check the Mirrored Edges box. Oh yeah, I'm just going to show you what this looks like by bringing the scale down. So yeah, that's what it looks like, and I'm just going to press Edit Undo because I don't want that. And then I'm going to press Command C to copy the motion tile effect, and then I'm going to paste it on my second clip as well, so we don't have to do this twice. Okay, so now we can customize this transition. So let's press the drop down, and we can go to Transform, and then we're going to go to where we want the transitions to start, and... Press the keyframe buttons for position, scale, and rotation. Then we're going to go to the very end of the clip and just bring that scale uh, down so that it shows the whole perspective and just change the rotation and position. And you can literally change this to whatever you want. So here are my values. My scale is at 44 and then my rotation is at 0 times 110 and my position is 937 by 316 so if you want to copy that you guys can so now it just like rotates out and then you want to just make sure all your keyframes end at the very end of the clip okay now let's go to our next clip and we're gonna go a little bit after the clip starts and we're gonna press the drop down button for transition and we're gonna press the keyframe buttons for scale and rotation. Okay, let's go to the beginning of the clip and, and we're gonna change the scale to 35. And then let's just change the rotation to like in the negatives to negative 96. So now it sort of warps out and then warps back into this next clip. And you can actually make the keyframes last a little longer so the transition is a bit slower and you can see it better. Okay, so you, if you wanna make this look a little bit cooler we can add some RGB split onto this so why don't we just go to effects and presets and search up set channels and let's just add it to our first clip and then we're gonna press command D to duplicate the clip twice so we have three clips so for our top clip we're gonna keep red on and turn green and blue off for our middle one we're gonna keep green on but turn off red and blue and for our last one we're gonna turn off red and green and then we're going to just select all those clips and change the blending mode to screen. Okay, so now let's go to the very end of the clip and we can literally adjust like some of these values for the scale to make the color come out. So if I go to my second clip and I just adjust the scale at the very end of the clip, you can see this like pink and green uh, like effect going on. So if you watch it back, you can barely see like some of the green and pink looking um, split on this clip. Okay, so now let's add it to our second clip. So I'm just going to duplicate this clip twice as well. And then I'm just going to copy the set channels from my other clip. So I'm going to go to my last layer of my first clip and command C to copy and paste it onto my last layer of my second clip. And then I'm going to match the second one and copy and paste paste it onto my second layer and do the same with the first one just copy and paste the set channels and then I'm going to change all of these to screen okay now I'm just going to scale the second clip the same way I did for the first one so I'm just going to scale it at the very beginning of the clip and scale it to about mm, 36 so now they both have the same colors so yeah that's basically the whole transition you could literally customize it to make it your own color um, and you can change the rotation and position and stuff and just mess around with this effect so I'll show you guys one more way you can use this okay so I just reset everything and basically the only thing that's still on these two clips are the motion tile because I showed you that already okay so let's press P for position and then you can go a little bit before the clip ends and press the keyframe button for position and then go to the end of the clip and just drag that y-axis all the way down so the position is just gonna warp right down then we're going to go to our second clip and we're going to also press P again and then drag the bar 
a little bit after the clip starts and then go back to the beginning and we're just going to drag the Y all the way up instead. So this is going to go to the positive direction. So now it's all just warping right down. Okay, so you can basically just add the set channels effect on this one again. So I'm just going to do this really quickly because I already showed you guys how to do it. Okay, so I just added the set channels effect on all of the clips. So now I'm just going to adjust the scale on my top clip this time. So I'm going to press S for scale and go a little bit before the clip ends. And then press the keyframe button and then go to the end of the clip and just adjust the scale slightly. So I'm just going to change it to 101. And now it has this like messy bluish reddish color. And then for my next clip, I actually have to change all of these to screen mode. Okay, now we're good. So we're going to go a little bit after the clip starts and press the keyframe button for scale for our top clip again. And then go back to the beginning of the clip and, and then change that to 101 as well. Okay, so that's basically it. I just wanted to show you guys two different ways on how to kind of use this effect in your videos. And you can literally change the values to anything you want and just mess around with the effect. Please leave comments below on questions you might have for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.